Hey, 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 hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Fury Machine here, and we are back on Skyrim Special Edition. And we are here doing the Amazing Race Tweaks mod, episode four. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Where we left off last time, we left off on the, we bought the Clan Fear uh, Conjuration spell, and now we're going to make our way down to... Um, the College of Winterhold and start doing the quest line for that. Sven coming? Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. Sounds like my wife when she wants me to do the dishes. Do the dishes! Or you'll die! That's funny. Sorry. When she watches this video. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to say that on camera. It's true. Don't tell her I said so. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? When we get high enough level, you're not going to be alive to worry about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop. Texting a buddy of mine, my best friend today, and uh, telling him episode two is out. And yeah, yeah. What the heck? It froze? Did it freeze? Oh, I was going to say it. it. seemed like it froze. Anyway, so yeah, I texted him, <clears throat> and I was telling him that episode two is out, and he was telling me how good it, uh, it, it came out really good, the videos, and he was excited for me, and... I told him it meant a lot because it never, you, when you hear your own voice and stuff back, anybody who's ever recorded their own voice, they think, ugh, my voice sounds horrible. I don't understand why I'm doing these videos. They sound stupid. And then when someone tells you that you actually sound pretty good. Every, I'm sorry, I just stopped because I randomly hear voices. What? It, I do not think I'm I thought, <laughs> sorry, I thought that was a half horse. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so he's telling me, you know, and he's been home at bed and recovering from COVID and had a rough time. And he was telling me that he actually was able to get up and take a shower and stuff today. So I was excited for him. And I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Okay. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to the College of Winterhold. Is that okay with you? Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right. Now, does Sven fit in here with me, or is it just me? Sorry, not Sven. Sven. Does Sven fit in there with me? I can't wait here forever. Oh, well, oh, sorry. I'll get right in. Anyways, yeah, so he's recovering and doing much, much, much better. And, you know, just want to give him another shout out. You know, I'm glad you're doing better, buddy. You know, we don't talk as much as we used to but when you claim someone's your best friend it tends to you give you're concerned about him and i'm so happy that he's gonna make it you, you know you this thing's been horrible on everybody <laughs> what are you doing in winterhold then <laughs> he, oh i came for a drink Oh, you got stew for brains. St you know, if I wasn't on a mission, I'd kill you for that. If you're here for sightseeing, well, then you've seen the sights. But anyways, I was running by this guy, and he said, he said, uh, why are all these fancy wizards casting their spells? <laughs> what are you doing here, then? This is the this spell cap. Then that rude, rude, rude uh, imperial guard. <laughs> this, by the way, everyone, is College of Winterhold. This is where you come to be a mage. Well, we're not a mage, but we're a half mage. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. What is this place? Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim. A place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. 
why are you here? What are you standing out here in the cold for? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? <laughs> uh, because I want to buy spells. Uh, is that any other reason why you would come here? Okay. Well, I was just, you know, passing through, wondering if I could just, like, hit this place up. Perhaps. May but I enter? What is it you expect to find within? Uh, let's see. Do we want to use the power of ice, desire to bend? I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, I'll just... No, I don't want to... No, let's do this. I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. I'm not very good at tasks. Tests, but uh, I'll take it. Excellent. A standard spell for one skilled in destruction magic is the Fire Vault. Casting one at the seal on the ground here would be sufficient. Uh, if she's going to give me Fireball, that's a seriously overpowered spell, and that's not fair. Because I'm not a destruction mage. Well, I don't know that spell. No. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Yeah, give me it. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Oh, Fireball. Okay, that's not so bad. Fireball is the one that the does... F an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Fireball is the one that uh, does like 49 damage to start and, and explodes. This one is Fire Bolt that only does 25, and this one is not very good. I mean, it's okay. It's a apprentice spell, but... But the college lives on. Much knowledge. Well done, indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Well, thank you for letting me come in, but what I was going to show you was, you asked me what I was doing here, it's because I can dance. And nobody in the world can jump like me. There, that's why I wanted to come in here. Because they can't jump like me. If I stand in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sven goes, oh. <laughs> Sorry. As you guys can see, I like to have a lot of fun. And why is that following me? It's supposed to, as you can see, it's supposed to stay in there. And all right. Come on, Feralda. I just like to have a lot of fun when I play. As many thousands and thousands of hours as I have in Skyrim. And Oblivion and Morrowind and uh, Oblivion Online. It's, uh, you have to amuse yourself sometimes. Like, the makers of this game did a great job, but why would you make the college like the. Uh, am I supposed to follow you? No, I know what I'm doing. Sorry. I'll start to be a little more serious. We're going to go up here and we're going to meet Mirabelle. She's going to give us robes and she's going to let us in, teach us where we sleep, blah, blah, blah. I believe I've made myself rather clear. I think the college is... Oh my gosh. Yes. Stop talking. I only need to talk to one of you. You may be used to the empire bowing to you. Welcome to the college. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, but... Like I said, 
playing this, like I said last episode, playing this game, it's different every time. And that's what makes this game absolutely fantastic. Uh, what is the chance of having the, the other girl there at the same time reading a book to, to the guy over there and they turn around and they talk to me at the same time? If that's not random, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Yeah, sure. I'd love to look around. But in, I just wanted to point out, Mirabelle, what's wrong with my clothes? Your mage armors can't protect you from me. Because I can slice you up and dice you up like a Domino's pizza if I wanted. So watch your tongue. Okay? Just, just watch it. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. You ever notice she just keeps talking as she walks away? This guy, spoiler alert, is a dork. That's a... I think the college is due for a change. She a girl? Because that's a tall girl. Like... If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. I better go get Mirabelle before she gets too far away. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down <coughs> while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Yeah. One sexy dude. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now. Let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Uh, I have one question. Where's Sven supposed to sleep? Because if this is my bed, where's he going to sleep? Guess you're going to sleep on the floor, buddy. I hope you like concrete tile floors. I got the bed. Just so you know. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. The only thing I wish they would have done, they, they, it's a main quest line, and I understand that. You got to go through this toll for a guy. But wouldn't it be cool to be taught by the guy that you're in the school with? Like, I'm in Conjuration, so wouldn't it be cool if I had, like, quest lines just for the Conjuration? So I could just come do the ones I want to do and learn the, the spells I want to learn? I don't want to have to do the whole quest line just to get the Conjuration spells I want. Is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okay. Thanks, Mirabelle. Very, very helpful. You was very helpful. Now I'm gonna don't do bother the Archmage a couple of donuts around you. Whoops. Yeah, I'm in the right way. You are dork. Look how tall the, boy, the high elves are. Crazy. It's taller than my helmet. They gotta be running like seven foot tall. <laughs> it's the little stupid things. But yeah, if they could make the if they could make anybody out there who makes mods for this game, if you could make a mod for the College of Winterhold to where you could come and just do specific quests for specific uh 
that tested my pop filter really hard with the specific uh the you could come and do specific t uh quests for like if i want since i'm just running conjuration and restoration let me do the quests for that i don't want i'm not worried about destruction spells or anything else let me just do what i need to welcome welcome we were just beginning because this guy does alteration Stay and listen. so as i was saying the first thing to understand <laughs> is that magic is by its very nature volatile and dangerous Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. PC this outcast exactly voice. What, what are we talking about? about? Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show <laughs> you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Actually, I've been over here giggling, look, trying to look up my skirt. But that's okay. Anyway, so uh, I think we should learn something safety well your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you oh, don't listen to him we can do it just give us a chance all right let's settle down i suppose we can try something practical in continuing with our theme of safety we'll start with wards wards are protective spells that block magic i'll teach you all a ward and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells all right would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I don't know any ward spells. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Uh, where, where I'm standing? Now, or you want me? Spell. Okay, so I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll shut up. Keep it up. What you learn here, several. If you're well, talented. I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. All right. Well, that's exactly where we're going to go. Now, what I have to do is I have to change some stuff here. I have to go to my powers, and the one that creates a ward, I have to favor that one because... During these uh, quest lines for the Mages College up at College of Winterhold here, you're going to fight, a, like, pretty much everything's going to be a mage and or magic thrower or staff thrower or something with magic. So I'm going to have to use this. Uh, creates a ward, ward to resist spells for 60 seconds when you block. Conjuration perks increase resistance. So the more I get conjuration perks, or I do believe level, let's do something real quick. Uh... I didn't show you guys this last time, but I'll log into my mods and I'll show you exactly what this mod looks like so you guys can download it if you want. That was one thing I didn't show you last time or the time before that, I figured. So these are the mods I have. I have the Ordinator, 50% Perks, Rich Merchants, Apocalypse Magic, Apocalypse. You have to have, if you want the Ordinator, you have to have the Apocalypse with the compatible. Wear multiple rings like I explained to you guys, the five times jump. Uh, Odin, which I explained. And then you have to have the Odin Skyrim Magic Overhaul. And then the compatibility. Because I have all the DLCs. I have the Special Edition plus all of the extra st stuff to go with it. And here is the Breton. Okay, so let me go down here. Uh, makes Breton more amazing to play. And adds 30 plus new animal familiars you can summon. So when you search in the in-game mod hub, you're going to search for Amazing Race Tweaks. And it's going to come up with the purple little picture there. Uh, so 
So, oblivion absorption is as often as you want, equip it unenchanted, which we already went over all of this stuff. Uh, but I was going to, right here, the second one down, oblivion comprehension. Bretons have the innate talent for conjuration. This ability causes you to learn all conjuration skills 50% faster. If you, have, if you also have the Mage Stone Blessing, you learn a Conjuration skill 70% faster, which we do. And then it goes down here. Animal Familiars, Ghost Fires, which I talked about a little bit. Once a day, you can make an Animal Familiar from the corpse of a dead animal to summon an Animal Familiar. Kill an animal, move close enough to it to loot its body, and activate the power. The Ghost Animal will follow you and fight for you for 24 hours or until it is defeated. Or you send it to oblivion. You can get rid of it yourself. And to do the same damage as the animal it was before it died. Plus it will have ghost abilities. Giving it 100% persistent to poison, frost, and 50% uh, resistance to other damage. So it won't take as much damage. You can summon familiars from more than 30 animals you kill. Familiars of stronger animals require you to either have required conjuration perk or minimum level. So and then it tells you right here what levels you, you can do like. No, if you have no, if you're just level one, you can only do a fox, chicken, all that stuff. Uh, see how it says novel, novice conjuration or level five. So once I hit level five, I'm, I can do uh, cow, deer, elk. When I hit level 15, I can do bear, all this stuff here. When I hit level 30, not in conjuration, it says adept conjuration or level 30. So when I just hit level 30, I can kill these animals and then raise them to fight for me. When I hit 45, I can do a snow bear, frost troll. When I hit level 60, I can do a mammoth, or I've done a giant as well, so that works for both. Okay, the mod does not change the Breton race or any perks, so most mods should be compatible, as are all mods with the Spock race. He does a whole bunch of different mods. That's the name of the guy that does it. Uh, it also doesn't require specific perks, so mods that change perks, such as Ordinator, should be compatible. Disable the mod to safely return to abilities. All you have to do is go in and disable it, and it just makes him a regular Breton. And these are the ones that he makes. He's got over 7 million downloads, this guy has, for this thing. So, But when I decided to do this, uh, I only got about 8 minutes now, <laughs> talking away. But I didn't show you guys last time. I was actually going to show you guys the mods. But uh, the, guy do the guy that I got most of those mods from amazing amazing mod he's taking the time to to do it the right way so it's like i always tell people when i go over mods and i do my mod reviews and farm sim you have to be careful where you get it from um nexus is completely 150 percent safe nexus mods but you will need especially for special edition you will need a mod um what do they call it there? An SKE, SKE or SKSE? I'll get the proper terminology for the next episode. You'll need that so that you have a proper path to put the mods. But if you go the in-game mod hub, we load... Oh, shut up. If you go in the in-game mod hub... Now, i got to stop for a second and let you guys know. <clears throat> Where we need to go is you're going to come out of the College of Winterhold and you're going to... The very second building, you're going to make a direct right right here. Whoop. And then you're going to just follow this path up. Oh, chicken. <laughs> anyway, so what I always suggest people to do... Uh, it, there's a little stone. The little stones you follow, too. Um, is to get all your mods from the in-game mod hub. They're not the greatest, most spectacular mods. Nexus mods, you will find some of the coolest. And I mean coolest mods for Skyrim that you could ever find. But you have to go through quite a bit of stuff to get to it. Um, it's not like you just can just download them. From the in-game mod hub, you can just download it and it puts it already in the order and it does what you need to do. Now. So just make sure you, you pick. Oh, you want to play. Oh, what's this? Okay, okay, okay. What is this? That guy wrecks me. Wow. And this is just a depth level. Do you know what I mean? Here 
I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. <laughs> wow, these guys just came out of nowhere. Like, this is crazy. Come on, swing away. Now, I don't know who this assassin is, but you're gonna die too. I don't trust anybody anymore. That was crazy. They literally just came out of nowhere. Yeah, right. You better have some cool stuff on them. Thanks, Fen, for sitting over there doing nothing. Um, but you're going to get the steel battle axe, that's for sure. And you're going to get the banded armor and the iron boots and the steel dagger. Or not steel dagger. Come here. Still here. What do you want me to carry? So, you are going to get... Uh, whoops, I'm going to go weapons. You're going to get a steel battle axe. Give. You are going to get banded armor. And iron boots. I think he's already got iron boots. Right? I think so. We're going to find out. And I'm going to take from you. Take one of those. Take that. There, now you. Oh, you know what? I have to. What do you want me to carry? There. Now you gotta. But what I want to do is I don't want to carry that. I want to get rid of that. Cause it, it's just too heavy. All right. Oh, well, if you guys want, we can do the Dark Brotherhood first. We've got it now. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. Um, the Dark Brotherhood, you have to go sleep or whatever. But we're going to go down here and we're going to do some of the quests for the mage first. But we're going to get down to where we need to go and then we're going to save it. We're going to be done. But anyways, last little thing about the mods. Just make sure what I try to do, if you're new at mods and you're still learning... Just get everything from the in-game mod hub and practice. And then when you get good enough, especially if you're on PC, if you're good, if you're getting good enough with download mods, then go to Nexus. Nexus is amazing. You have to become a member, It's but they're free. And it takes a few days, so you have to sign up for it. And then it takes a few days for it to... Uh, for them to accept you, but... That's a nasty. Now, as you level, you see how these are just search wolf. They become ice wolves, and then they become other. They get harder and harder and harder. He's pretty, pretty badass. It looks like um things off the Predator. Or not Predator, um, Independence Day. There's another one. Wow, he's strong, too. Watch this. Wow! Compared to my other guy, he's super strong. Alright, so we killed all that lost my way here. Go back up and go to this thing here. Wait, I want to see something. How long does he last? 78 seconds, so a minute and 18 seconds now. I can keep him out, and the more conjuration perks I put up, the longer he's going to last. And he's pretty nasty. get down to Sarthal down here and then I'll save it. I don't think there's anything in these things. Garrett's, I don't want those. But if you, there's, there's a, I don't want those. If there's a cool mod out there called, um, 
you must eat and drink and stuff, and it makes you have to eat and sleep and drink and or you die. It's pretty neat. One of these times I'm gonna try the mod uh it's called like Dark Souls where you literally if you die, game's over. You wanna talk about a realistic all right, see, now you, everyone has seen, right? All right, we're on episode four. I've taken all of his weapons twice now. Where is he coming up with a bow? And a pretty sick bow. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Look, I'm on spend. I'm on weapons. Where is he coming up with a bow? You lead. And arrows. That makes me mad because I'm like giving them stuff and if you've already got a like a pre-in-game weapon, that's crazy. Alright, so we're here to Sarthal. And this is where we're going to meet Tolfer and he's going to take us into that dungeon over there. And we're going to have to go through a bunch of steps and quests and stuff to get what we need to. The only reason I'm going through this first quest of them is because then it opens me up to have freedom to walk around the College of Winterhold. And once I have freedom to do that... I can go talk to the guy that sells conjuration spells. And I don't have to do any other quests for the College of Winterhold. And he sells master spells. So all I'll be able to do is go up to him as soon as I'm high enough level. Uh, it goes zero level 1 to level 10 is apprentice spells. And then it goes 10 to level 20 is adept. 20 to level 30 is expert. And then above 30 you can do master. Or above, it, I think it's 40. Above 40, you can uh, you can get master spells from him. And what I mean is not level 40 yourself. Your level in, like my level in Conjuration has to be 40. And we are right now only five, or only 31. So in nine more levels, I'll be able to get master, or expert. And then above 70, you can get master spells. So right now we can only, and if you notice what the clan fear is is he's apprentice so i'm gonna put this away we're gonna save it right here and as usual guys and gals and everyone else who's watching thanks for tuning in to episode of four for the amazing skyrim amazing race tweaks mod and i'm hoping everybody enjoys it uh, as you can you guys can see i have a quite a bit of a sense of humor i like to have a lot of fun i hope you guys continue to tune in and the more you tune in I will eventually, if you guys, if it takes off, I will do all of the races, the race tweaks, and then I will move on to different mods and play the game with different mods, and I think it'll be fun. But as usual, look out for yourselves, look out for each other, most importantly, look out for your families, and enjoy, 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 enjoy. Enjoy the day, the night, the weekend, whenever you're watching this, and just have a wonderful time, and catch everybody on the flip side.